Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today we are going to minister to 10 people. So if you would like to receive a word, please write your name in the comments and I will put you on the schedule and then we will minister to you. So I try to every single day post a video where we minister. So on Monday and Fridays we go live and then all the other days I minister to at least 10 people every day. So if you just put your name on the comments and then I'll schedule you and then as I get to you, uh, down the list I'll minister to you so the first person I want to minister to is Manuel okay so Manuel what the Lord is showing to me is how you are doing business but the side hustle is ministry and how the business get into a place where you can do more and more ministry and there's also more a demand on you to do ministry work for God and then the ministry becomes the biggest thing that you do in your life and then the business becomes something smaller and so the Lord says this is a time to uh, build the spirit man to build the message and the anointing now I don't know if you have a message but I see how you in the morning spray and how the Lord gives you messages and you write it down and over time you really build up a reservoir and a treasury of messages uh, that the Lord wants you to be able to speak to people and to minister to them and also specifically to teach them and to fill them with the Holy Spirit. God bless you, Manuel. And Manuel, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Barant. Barant, the Lord shows me how you are like pinned up against this wall and you have all of these, these wounds on you and then how you are crying out to the Lord. And, and the Lord shows me how how they, how you feel like there's this dark cloud on you and 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 I and I see how you must just st you must just come back to that seat of rest in the Lord and you must step out of this darkness that you feel that you are in sometimes I don't know if this is all the time but sometimes and I really see that that you can make the choice to step into light into light every single day and the Lord shows me that when you make that step sl slowly but surely these wounds start to heal and how you just get so much stronger and you have so much passion and the Lord shows me how, how like your heart just starts like to beat out of your chest with new love for the Lord, with a new fire for the Lord, with a new hunger for the Lord. When you choose to step into this light and, and, and love. And I hear the Lord saying that He wants you to, to love His people. He wants you to, to find a love for people because they're, they're always going to be around. And the Lord wants you to, to have the, that good fruit and to show your good fruit because you are good soil. Be blessed. Okay. Uh, Barant, uh, the Lord shows me how you connect with Him uh, at a much higher level and how you grow in wisdom and humility in your life. And I see how you just, as you as you become dependent on God, it's as if you um, lose a little bit of that self-confidence, but you get gain a lot of assurance of that mm -hmm. God is going to fight the battle on your behalf. Yes. And then I see how you bring a lot of godly wisdom into your life and i felt even people that uh come to receive treatment uh at the the animal hospital uh you minister to them and you speak the wisdom of god out of your your life to them and you even bring that to your family god bless you uh Barant. okay so kerry the lord shows me a row of a uh, mile beacons or markers and you know every or mile posts and uh, whatever you want to call them and so i see every mile you walk past one but at the one pole it was like you write a book at the next pole you help uh, people with their marketing at the next pole you help your family uh, at the next pole you um, run maybe a social media campaign at the next poll and I just see how you go past these poles and I felt that the Lord says although you're doing a diverse things all of it are stones that are part of the wall or the foundation and you're building up and up and up and so just like these small posts that's the root the plan the purpose the the walk that God has for your life and each one of those things are part of the plan that God has for you and I see how you walk uh, past them in you're not going to the left or to the right but you are really led by the Holy Spirit and you go according to his plan and so the Lord is very proud of you and so when you feel but I'm doing too many different things don't worry about it I feel the Lord is just equipping you uh, as you walk along God bless you Kerry. Amen Kerry 
Mary, please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Shanae. Shanae, the Lord says that, that speed is not the answer. That you don't that you don't need to 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 be there at at, a, at you don't have to feel like I need to get there at a certain time. If not, I'm a failure or I'm not I'm not growing fast enough. I'm not maturing fast enough. And I hear the Lord saying that 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 where you are right now is is where He loves you. And and where you are going to be is where He's still gonna love you. And where you were is where he will is where he has loved you so I hear the Lord saying that he has patience with you that you don't need to to put this this pressure on yourself about time um, and you don't need to 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 rush things I hear the Lord saying that he wants you to 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 show up and and do it properly do it well do it with 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 um, a lot of Maybe it may be a bit more effort. It actually like takes more effort to go slowly but precise. And I hear that's what the Lord's saying. Slowly but precise. Um, speed is not the answer right now. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Shanae, um, the Lord is really helping you. Uh, and you are in a new season. And seasons sometimes start a little bit slow or late. You know, sometimes we wait for the rain and it just doesn't come but eventually it does come or we wait for the winter and somehow it's not getting cold and then it eventually gets cold but i felt that the lord is also giving you keys so just be patient um there's a lot of gears that work together if, uh, in your life so just be patient as okay. god bless you uh Shanae. okay so louisa uh, the lord shows me you catching fish with a line and then you switch over to catching fish with a net and with the line you were catching very pretty fish and they were big but they were just not enough to sustain you and then you switch over to net and it wasn't always the prettiest fish but there was quite a lot so that was more than enough to sustain you and so i felt that this fish has to do in this year about um finances okay so in other words the fish that you catch with the line is you get finances or or a sum of money and although they're very pretty and it's nice looking fish, they're just not coming quick enough. So you get behind. And then I see how the Lord gives you a strategy how to switch over to a net. And now the fish are coming in quicker. But in 2025, uh, sorry, 2026, the year after, I see that the, the net, uh, the fish with the net will continue with the finances. But now that same strategy will also result in the way you lead people into the kingdom of God. Where you now think, okay, I was praying for that person to get saved. Then later you're going to see more, bigger groups of people getting saved because of your ministry. God bless you. Amen. This is what it is for uh, Pamela. The Lord, I just hear the Lord saying, my beautiful Pamela, that, that you are so, so precious to the Lord. The Lord shows me how, how he is, how, he, how there's like this chain that he is holding onto, that you and him are like chained together. And, and when you like, when you chain with somebody, it's much stronger than just holding their hand. And I feel that there is a deeper connection that you have to the Father or that you are, that you are growing to have with the Father, that, that, that that connection with him that being linked to him and I hear the and I hear the word saying that when you are linked to the Lord like like chain links linked to him that not the not the fastest winds or the highest waves or the 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 ground shaking would ever like break this connection with you and the Lord and I hear the and I'm not here saying don't ever let anything come between you and that connection don't ever let that connection um, get you know downplayed or or you know left aside or oh that connection's there I don't have to to mend it I don't have to oil it I don't have to to, to make sure it's still there but I hear the Lord saying come come back to that connection connect to it and and yes connect to that connection and and don't don't neglect it because it is so 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 powerful the Lord loves you so much he is just wrapping you in this in this beautiful cloth of, of love and of peace be blessed hey awesome uh, Pamela uh, God bless you oh uh, so the next word is for uh, Gilliam uh, so Gilliam I hope I'm gonna do a good job now um, I, I want to quickly just give a recap of the other things that I said uh, to you uh, the one thing was that the Lord uh, is going to uh, help you to build something on and it's going to be something of your own and I think it's going to be a physical uh, building on so like with bricks and cement and the roof and all of that uh, but I think uh, I feel it's expansion but it could also be spiritual but I, I thought it was physical uh, the other thing that I felt that the Lord says it's not going to be sprints anymore like events but it's going to be like a 
um, a long race, like a marathon. So you're going to have to take on responsibilities that that's continuous and for a long time. But it's not maybe as rushed and as as fast as a, a, a sprint, uh, but it's for a long time, maybe two or four years. Okay. Um, uh, then the next thing uh, that I add now to this is I felt God was saying to me that He is loving how you are a servant of God. He loves it. You serve Him. You're always willing to be a servant of God. And, you know, each one of us remains servants of God because we said to the Lord, Lord, I'll serve you. But the Lord also wants you to walk in sonship. Now, when you walk in sonship, you walk in the authority that God has given to you. You walk in the purpose, the, the spiritual DNA that is given to you of who you are as a son of God. And you have a lot of authority uh, when you walk into a place as a son of God. Because the Lord uh, is calling you a, a prince. You are a lord. You, you are someone that takes responsibility and, and you oversee uh, resources and people. Okay. So now, here's what I felt the Lord is giving you as a title. And so that's not one of the, the, the five titles in the Bible that they give to the different ministers. But the Lord gave me this word, strategist. And I felt that the Lord says that He is teaching you how to be a strategist in the kingdom of God and how you will become a chief strategist to help yourself, your family, the church that you're involved with, and even other ministers, strategies how to build the kingdom of God. God bless you, Gilliam. Amen, Gilliam. Please give us comments. Thanks for this for Dante. Dante, the Lord shows me how you are so equipped that you that you have everything that you need, that you know what needs to be that what needs to be put out right now, what you need to release right now. And I see how you are just marching on with like your hands held high and you are just praising the Lord. You are singing songs, you are moving and, and dancing and, and the Lord shows me how, how the enemy is so confused because they think that you are coming with with like these these fancy words and, and all of these this fancy knowledge, but you are just coming with a love for the Lord and that is so much and that is there's power in that love for the Lord the Lord also shows me how how you help to build a, a hospital and and like this hospital is is just a place of like healing the Lord really shows me how there's a, a big call for 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 healing in your life that that you will heal many people with your hands and that you help to build this this community of of just releasing that 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 healing power of the Lord and, and I see for, for you right now that the Lord is just coming and he's just cupping, cupping your head. And, and, and I see how the enemy wants to come and give you bad dreams and, and wants you to, to, to just, just to hurt like your mind. And the Lord saying that he is coming and he is just cupping your head to not only protect your head, but to protect your mind. And I see how that is going to stay with you for pretty much the rest of your life, that, that protection. Um, over your mind. Be blessed. Okay, uh, Dante, uh, I just want to add uh, to this word uh, that the Lord is going to form you under His covering and under the covering of the family that God is giving to you. Um, and I see how your mother and your father pray continuously over you and I declare the word of God of, uh, over you and, the, and there's a covering over you. And so I felt every time when the covering gets a little thin, then the Holy Spirit is going to remind your mom and dad to just declare God's word again over you. So that covering over you mm -hmm. remains uh, solid. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it looked to me also like a, a mold that you would mold like a, a pudding that you bake or a jelly that you, that you uh, set. Uh, and so the Lord has made the right mold for you by giving you the right mother, the right father, the right church, the right environment. So you can be, be can become that woman of God that God called you to be. Okay, God bless you, Dante. Okay, so the next word is for Amanda uh, van der Heever. Uh, van der Heever. Okay, so Amanda, uh, what the Lord shows to me is how he's going to help you to be productive without stress. If I can say it like that. So I see how you need to get your, um, your things out that you need to do. Uh, but it's every time, just, just in time, uh, you don't have a lot of um, play 
if, if you didn't get it done on time, then you're late. Okay? And I saw how the Lord is going to help you to extend the resources that you have, the stock, the time, uh, your effort that you have, even your emotional energy. He's going to extend it like longer, like three to six months. So you'll have the stock six months before the time, the, the people and the resources that you need to be able to produce long before the time so that you don't have that anxiety and i see how the lord actually touches you and how he makes you absolutely peaceful how he puts his righteousness and his joy on your life so that you just become this oasis of the peace of god god bless you amen amanda please leave us a comment this next word is for karen the lord shows me how how you are how you just need to know that you are supposed to connect with him and, and, and it, it, you don't need to always feel like, oh, I feel like I didn't really connect with the worship. And, and the Lord is saying that he, it's not about connecting to the song. It's about, or it's not about co connecting to, 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 to this or to that. It's about connecting to Him. That Jesus is the gateway into all all of this these amazing things and if you're not going through Jesus you're not going it's not the right way and the Lord just wants to reaffirm that in your life that he is the way he is the door that we will enter into and and the Lord saying that that door is 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 always there for you to 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 open and to go into and and I, and I see how you must just do your gateway a first love um, and just and just have that connection with Jesus the Lord also shows me how he is bringing you all of like these 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 gifts and these treasures how he's showing you that that this this is here for you this is here for you this is here for you that I've made all of this for you and, 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 I, and I see how you can, have, you can have peace in that and knowing that your treasures in heaven is, is, is really where it lies and not that you're chasing your heavenly treasures but you, you know what I mean that it doesn't, it, it doesn't all need to be happening right here it, it's, it's, it's happening also in heaven I don't know if I'm making sense but I, I feel the Lord saying that you might not see what the Lord is doing but he is doing something Right. Uh, so, uh, uh, Kieran, uh, I'm just going to add to this, is that God is really working on your behalf. And I saw a schedule of things that God wants you to do. And it's just every day, one or two things. It's not a lot. And it doesn't take a lot of time. But the Lord wants you to be obedient to do that one or two things every single day for Him. And then the rest of the time you have to say to the Lord, well, Lord, I don't know how this is going to work out, but you are in control and I'm going to trust in you. I see how you trust uh, in Him and how the Lord um, help you and you work things out uh, for your good. But uh, those small things that you need to be obedient to, that's important to do those. And then the rest of the time, it's important to say to the Lord, but you're in control. I can't control this. So I'm going to relax and I'm going to trust you. And I felt that that's how the Lord is going to give you a balance. All right. Uh, Karen, God bless you. All right. So family, it was wonderful for us to minister uh, to the 10 of you. Um, please write your name in the comments if you'd like to receive a word. And we'll be back again tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.